All right, we're gonna run through an MDM bypass on this iPad Mini 5, I believe it is. Yeah, five. Uh, the app you need is gonna be the pink one, MDM patcher. What you wanna do is you wanna choose the language and the region on the iPad and that's it, then plug it in. You'll see the iPad show in Finder, which is what we're looking for. You'll see where it says loading. You might see activation. It's not paired with this Mac. Disconnect and reconnect. iPad activating. There we go. So now it's paired, whatever you call it. Activated. Now when you open the MDM tool, you'll see that it also shows the details of this iPad. All you want to do is hit patch. I'm going to hold the iPad next to it so you can see what happens. Hit patch. There you go. Restore progress. There you go. You get the success message. Now the iPad will restart. I'll pull that back up in a minute here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, iPad will restart. Now, if the iPad already was to the screen where it said, you know, this iPad, remote management, the company name, you're gonna have to restore the iPad or the iPhone. That cannot be triggered on the iPad or the iPhone. If it is, again, you'll have to restore it so the iPhone or the iPad is not aware of the MDM until you use the patcher. Once you use the patcher, then the iPad will function like normal. You'll see here. There we go. Hello. Restore complete. You can connect to Wi-Fi if you want. At this point, I usually don't until you get to the home screen. Sometimes it takes a little while. Come on. There you go. Set up later. Don't use. Don't use. You could set this up if you wanted to. Agree, agree, all offline, yeah. There we go. So, as you can see at this point, it's pretty much bypassed. There we go, bypass. Not only is it bypass, but it doesn't even show, you know, this is just finished setting it up, but it doesn't show the enroll, doesn't show this belongs to, doesn't show this being managed by a certain company or whatever. And the only way that the MDM will come back is if you do a full factory reset and erase everything on it and set it up with Wi-Fi, then it'll, it'll come back. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Any iPhone, that I've tested on it, any uh, iPad I've tested on it works just fine. It doesn't matter the firmware. As you can see, this one is on 18.1. I just restored this one before the video so I can I can show you the process. But yeah, uh, let me know if you have any questions.